The world of science was rocked both literally and metaphorically this morning as Yellowstone National Park experienced its most horrific geological activity in decades. A beautiful Thursday morning turned into a day of anxiety as USGS, United States Geological Survey, scientists were startled by hundreds of earthquakes measuring up to 5.9 on the Richter scale followed by a second hydrothermal eruption that devastated parts of the park's iconic landscape. Over the past 48 hours, Yellowstone has recorded significant magma movement, detected through surges in underground pressure and changes in surface temperatures in several geothermal areas. This activity culminated in a series of shallow earthquakes that shook the Yellowstone caldera area. Some of the strongest quakes were even felt as far away as small towns in neighboring states, sparking fears that Yellowstone could be on the verge of a major event. This series of hundreds of large earthquakes is particularly alarming, not only because of their unusual number, but also because of their highly unstable pattern and intensity. These earthquakes occurred very closely together, some just minutes apart, and each had a shallow depth, indicating geothermal activity rising toward the surface. It's like Yellowstone is taking a deep breath, and we don't know yet if it's going to exhale or erupt," Dr. Mitchell explained gravely. Seismic data showed that most of the earthquakes had magnitudes above 4.0, with the peak reaching 5.9 on the Richter scale, a number not to be taken lightly in a region as active and sensitive as Yellowstone. The tremors triggered tiny cracks in the ground surface, widespread ground deformation, and sudden changes in steam and hot water pressure at various geyser heads. Several geysers around the Upper Geyser Basin and West Thumb were spewing hot water higher than usual, some even exceeding the eruption heights of Old Faithful, known as the most consistent geyser. But now, that consistency was gone. Geysers that used to erupt every 90 minutes were now silent. Instead, small, once dormant geysers are now erupting at random. Scientists confirm that this isn't just a side effect of the earthquake, it's a signal that Yellowstone's hydrothermal system is in full swing. The underground system is under stress. We're seeing temperatures rise in areas that are normally stable. This is very concerning, the USGS geochemistry team stated in a brief report. Amidst the string of seismic tremors and undeniable signs of geological unrest, one concern now haunts scientists and millions of people around the world. The potential return of a large-scale hydrothermal eruption, like the one that rocked Yellowstone in 2024. That explosion, which sent superheated steam, rock and mud into the air with the force of a tactical bomb, killed several wildlife, destroyed tourist trails and triggered massive evacuations in areas surrounding the national park. The impacts were felt throughout the tourism sector, the local economy and even sparked international discussions about preparedness for extreme geological threats. And now, that dark shadow is back. Experts from the USGS confirmed that underground pressure in several Yellowstone hot zones has increased significantly in the past 48 hours. Bubbles of toxic gases like carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide have appeared more frequently, water temperatures have risen sharply, and geysers have erupted higher and more erratically than usual. We're seeing dynamics that are very similar to the patterns leading up to the 2024 eruption, said Dr. Samuel Reyes, a geochemist with the USGS. This is not something we can ignore. 
on Thursday morning around 7.16 a.m. local time, Yellowstone shook again not from an earthquake but from a second hydrothermal eruption. This eruption created a new crater nearly 30 meters wide, ripped open the surface of the Norris Geyser Basin and transformed the previously fertile landscape into a field of steam and boiling mud. Visitors within a 5km radius reported hearing a loud bang, followed by a plume of white smoke into the sky. There were no casualties, but fear spread faster than the heat haze rising from the ground. Yellowstone National Park immediately closed most of the Norris Geyser Basin. Scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey USGS, were deployed to monitor further activity and measure the levels of toxic gases released from the new crater. However, in an official statement that stunned the global scientific community, Michael Poland, chief scientist at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, confirmed that the massive hydrothermal explosion that occurred Thursday morning in the Norris Geyser Basin area was directly triggered by a series of shallow earthquakes, totaling more than 200 inch less than two days. We believe there is a clear causal relationship here, Poland asserted. These large earthquakes occurring at a high frequency and at very shallow depths disrupted Yellowstone's underground hydrothermal system and that triggered the explosion. Yellowstone is home to one of the most active hydrothermal systems in the world and one of the most sensitive. When the underground pressure in this system is disturbed, the results can be extreme. Michael Poland explained that shallow earthquakes, especially those at depths less than 3 km, can shift fractures in the rock, opening new pathways for steam and superheated water and causing pressure that has been trapped for years to suddenly be released in the form of a hydrothermal explosion. Imagine a pressure cooker with a crack in the bottom, the water inside would explode in all directions. That's what happened at Yellowstone, Poland added, 